thank you, Senator Hoyle, Senator Hoyleman Siegel, uh, for that. Um, you know, it's always funny to represent thousands of farmers for me to have a debate with someone from Manhattan about what we should do for farmers. Not that notwithstanding, I do believe you're sincere in your concerns. So, so thank you. But they are misguided. Um, there's a number of things here. The, the study that, uh, uh, that, that Senator Hoyleman Siegel continues to reference uh, was in 2020. It actually says that neonicotinoid insecticides in New York State finds alternatives uh, for the control of, of pests to be less effective, more hazardous, and more costly than neonicotinoids. The answer I couldn't get from, uh, my, from my colleague was the fact that the alternative, if we're going to maintain these yields, is to dump hundreds and hundreds and thousands of gallons of pesticides, like you used to do in the old days, on top of, of corn and soybean and everything else, in order to ensure that we can get those same crop yields. And that's not good, for, it's not good for the environment, it's certainly not good for our uh, pollinators, and it's not good for human health. So we're going to go backwards in so many ways if we do this. And I think what's missing here is the understanding that our farmers are good stewards of the land and their crops. It's good business for them to be as judicious as possible in what they use. And if we take this tool away from them, they're going to have to resort back to methods that we used decades ago that are hazardous, and we know that they're hazardous. But beyond that, there's not, this is not just affecting farmers. This is also going to impact others, or, uh, or other areas, other industries. I've heard from folks that uh, you know, maintain golf courses that these neonics are going to be banned uh, somehow by this bill, and they're very concerned about that. We have championship golf courses in New York State. Uh, PGA is, is at Oak Hill uh, in, in Rochester. Next year it's coming uh, down to Bethpage on Long Island. And I've been told by the folks that represent uh, all of those uh, golf courses that they, are, they fear that they'll, they will not be able to maintain uh, you know, that, that uh, championship quality level golf course without that. But, more, but on top of that, what we're really concerned about here is trying to, trying to really control something and make the solution worse uh, than the disease, so to speak. We are going to tell our farmers that you're going to dump thousands more gallons which is not good for the environment, certainly not good for climate change, all those other things, in order to mitigate a seed that is micro-coated with a very tiny amount of pesticide, which has proven time and time again to be effective. And quite frankly, this, this study, this Cornell study, is just a lot of Google searches about other studies from other states and other countries. It's not an actual, real, peer-reviewed study. But one of those studies is currently underway, as I referenced earlier, here in, in central New York, it's in the second year of three years. Now, I realize that there is some time here, but the bottom line is this is going to go into place regardless of what this study finds, unless some kind of action to reverse it were to take place. And that's unlikely to happen. I think we all know that. Because the forces at work here, the people that really don't want this uh, method to be used are people that, quite frankly, really don't care about our agriculture industry here in New York State. They don't care about those impacts. They are very focused on their special interest here. I think we all understand and appreciate what our farmers need to do and to protect those pollinators. Those pollinators are critically important to their business, to their lifestyle, their life, their farms. They do not want to hurt those uh, pollinators. And there are many other things that are impacting them that have nothing to do uh, with man-made things like uh, neonicotinoids. It has everything to do uh, you know, with predators and, and diseases and other things that are actually taking the lives of our pollinators. So this, mis this, is, the, this is the idea of we're going to try and find to do something, and doing something is better than doing nothing to solve a problem. But this isn't going to do it. We're missing the target here, and it's going to harm, greatly harm agriculture, and I would strongly encourage all of my uh, colleagues to vote no on this one. Thank you.